You don't know how to play card sharks? I kind I either forgot or I don't know how to play. Well, me and Elijah will teach you. Oh, yeah. See, what if two cards are the same when you flip them over? Yeah, like, when one card is showing, the next card you have to call higher or lower than the card before it, and if you make a single mistake, you go back to your base card. And yeah. as you go on, you have the option to freeze to keep them away from their from the cards. Like, you'll be yeah, answering a high-level question telling them how many out of 100 people said yes, or if that has happened. And then the other yeah. person will get to decide higher or lower than, than what their guess is, and then the number out of 100 will be revealed. Let me get my markers. Okay, and since Elijah is the returning champ, the first question will go to Elijah. All right. We asked 100 married women... Uh, no. Not married women. We asked 100 married men. Who was more anxious to get married? You or your wife? How many men said they were more anxious to get married? Uh, well, the, the wives are were more anxious to get married than men. So I'd say about... This is a tough one. 55. 55 out of 100, Okay. Connor, do you think it's higher or lower than 55? Hmm, maybe an eight somebody married, uh, must be 40, 40%. Uh, like, do you think it's higher or lower than 55? Oh. That's how anxious they are when they marry girls as their wives. I know, but what I'm asking is if your guess is higher or lower than 55. Elijah said 55. It's lower. Lower, okay, let's check it out. The actual number of married men said that they were more anxious to get married is... Is 42. It is lower. Wow, <laughs> I was right. 42 and 45 and 40 are lower. Yeah, 42 out of 100 said that men are more anxious. All right, let's take a look at your first card. It's an 8. Now you have the option to play or to change your card. Like, your card is an 8. Like... Like Elijah, you can you can help him if you want, Elijah. Do you wanna do you wanna keep the card or do you wanna change it? Because the well, ace, I don't think I should keep it because that I'm actually was I actually want to keep. Okay. Okay, so are you going higher or lower? I'm going higher. Okay, higher than an eight. Oh no, a two. That's all right. Yeah. That was a good shot, though. So yeah. you go back to eight. Well, I would have to change the card if I were you. But anyways, Elijah has a free chance at the card. And he's playing off of an eight. Lower than an eight. It's a seven. Higher than a seven. Ah, it's a two. No progress on the cards. The two is the lowest card of a deck, and the ace is the highest card of a deck. Eight is usually yeah. the middle, so so hopefully you can change the eight. Let's hope you can do that in the next turn. But by the way, the next question goes to Connor. Okay. We asked 100 women in the California studio audience, have you ever had your nose fixed? How many women said yes? About 80%. 80, okay. Elijah, do you think it's higher or lower than 80? It's lower. Lower than 80. Here it is. The actual number of women in the California studio audience said they, they ever had their nose fixed is... Is 3. It is way lower. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
two percent. I see. Okay, now you have a privilege to change the eight, Elijah. Change it. All right, when you win the question, you get to change the card. The eight becomes a nine. Okay. Lord. Lord a nine. A three. Higher. Higher than three. Eight. Freezing on the eight. Freezing on the eight, keeping Connor away from his cards. And Elijah has the next question. We asked 100 people, if you have a choice, would you rather double your income or your IQ? How many people I said they double the IQ? Um, I could double my IQ. Or I could get smarter or get richer. And they chance to get richer, but not a lot of people say they want to get richer. So I'd say about, um, uh, 35. 35 out of 100. Connor, do you think it's higher or lower than 35? Mm, I'd say lower. Lower than 35. Let's check it out. The actual number of people said they would double the IQ is, it is 40. It is not lower, it's higher. I get it higher. I'm sorry, but higher. Oh. I get okay, so you, so you actually won the question, Connor. So now you have the privilege to change the card if you want. Okay, so you say you want to change the card. The eight becomes a four. Okay. Oh. Put down a four, everybody. What'd you guess? Higher or lower than the four? Are you sure you want to go lower? Uh, no, higher. Oh, good catch on that. Higher than a four. Okay, you said lower the first time and then you changed it to higher. Uh, he said, he meant to say higher up on, on his choice that he changed. So, so he's good by saying lower. I heard him say lower the first time and then he meant to say higher, but, but I am quite confused. Let me redo the deck. I'll, I'll let you have another chance. Lower than a four. Ah, oh, it's an ace. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, Elijah has a free chance at the eight, but cannot change the card. Higher. Higher than an eight. It's an ace. A-C-E. Oh, Lower. Lower than an ace from the first game of the match. Yes, you did it. It's a three. So Elijah wins the first game. Connor, you still have a chance to win at it. You haven't had a chance at the cards yet, but you still have a chance to win. I still believe in you. Okay. And Connor has the next question. We asked 100 New Yorkers, has your apartment have ever been burglarized? How many of them said their apartment has been burglarized? Mm. Burglarized about 50 because that's half of 100. So you're going with a bullseye, 50. Elijah, do you think it's higher or lower than 50? That's a tough one, but I'm going to go probably lower. Lower than 50, let's check it out. The actual number of New Yorkers said that their apartment has been burglarized is... It is 20. It is lower. Okay. Hey, nice one, Elijah. Thanks. Burglarizing might mean a crime, so I so I don't think that has ever happened very much. Okay, Elijah has to play off of the three. Higher. Higher than a three. A four. Higher. 
Higher than a four, a king. Lower than a king, a seven. Freezing on the seven, keeping Connor away from his cards. Let's go to the next question. We polled 100 men who are senior citizens and asked them, have you ever flown in a plane? How many of them said yes? And it goes to Elijah. Um, what was the question again? We polled 100 men who are senior citizens and asked them, have you ever flown on a plane? How many of them said yes? Sixty-seven out of a hundred. Connor, do you think it's higher or lower than sixty-seven? It looks like higher because um, I think that's how they get used to flying like a pilot. I get you. Let's check it out. The actual number of senior citizens that they've ever flown on a plane is... It is ninety-six. It is higher. Dang, yeah! Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. All right, Connor. Here's your base card. It's a five. A five. Call higher or lower than a five. Higher than a five. Oh no! That's a two. Those cards are being tricky. Don't think, Connor. Yeah. Alright. Elijah has a free chance of a seven. To get you away out of the money cards, higher than a seven. It's a queen! You're going to money cards! Uh, by the way, Connor, keep your live stream on because Elijah's going to money cards. Yeah, keep your last thing on, Connor. This isn't over. So, Elijah has won $2,000 for two matches. And I'm going to deal the cards for money cards. And $19,300 for free game, free game winnings. Okay, here is your first card, Elijah. For $200, an ace! A-C-E! Everything, everything lower than an ace is a ten. Four hundred dollars and a ten. Uh, one hundred lower. A hundred dollars lower than a ten. A six. Five hundred dollars and a six. One hundred higher. How many hundred? One hundred. All right. A hundred dollars higher than a six is a nine. $600, we're going to put that in the $400 section. You have $1,000 and a 9. Change it with number 1. Alright, the 9 becomes a king. $500 lower. $500 lower than a king. It's a 5. $1,500 and a 5. Uh, $1,000 higher. $1,000 higher than a 5. It's an ace! All of it lower. Everything lower than an ace. It's a ten. Five thousand dollars and a ten. Uh, you... Uh, yeah. Twenty-five hundred, five thousand. Five thousand dollars and a ten. And... It must be at least twenty-five hundred. Yep. What are you gonna do? Change it with three. Okay, the ten becomes a seven. Okay, but half your bets. Higher than a seven is an eight. Seventy-five hundred dollars. So your total winnings for this game are ninety-five hundred. We're gonna add it up. Your total winnings are now at twenty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Also, the highest, the highest possible amount that anybody could win on the. Jim Perry version of Card Sharks. Wow, that was excellent oh, work. The highest possible amount on the Jim Perry version of Card Sharks. 
and the money cost is $28,800. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks for playing, Connor. I'm, I'm glad you had some good practice. Both cards are being tricky, aren't they? Yeah. But once again, good game, Elijah. Thanks. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next time for another Card Sharks episode. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye. Peace.